it amazes me how we laugh and dance and smile, but we, we're not really connected with each other. We want to control each other, you know. We're not really open and being real. We're trying to hold an image in front of people. And uh, God is nowhere in the picture. We looking good. We dancing. We drinking. We, we in taking poison. But at the end of the day, everybody lonely, even when they around a lot of people. I'm the real nigga. I'm the real nigga. I'm the real nigga. I'm the you know, nice is the worst thing a woman can call a man in this day and age. A woman call you nice, that means like you act different from most men. I think I can use you. I like to keep you around in the friend zone. You treat me well. You treat me how I say I supposed to be treated. But for some reason, it don't turn me on. That's basically what she's saying. You treat me how you supposed to be treated. You treat me how a man supposed to treat a woman, but unfortunately, it don't turn me on. So what's the point of being nice if it don't turn a woman on? It gives her no challenge. Yes, she wants that man that's giving her a hard time. She will submit to that man that's giving her a hard time. Yes, she would. She will submit to that man that's giving her a hard time. She will despise you for treating her nice, calling her and texting her all day, giving her compliments, taking her out to eat, spending money on her, laughing, being nice and considerate, acting like you care. I don't care if you're attractive, it will turn her off. They, most of them want what they can't have, so they will never have what they want. And most of them will always be in a position to complain about what they don't have. And how a man treating them when that's what they was attracted to. They want a man to change, but if he changed, they will no longer be attracted to him. Why do you treat me this way? Because it works. It keeps you around. Why do you treat me this way? Because it works, it keeps you around. It makes you submit to me. It makes you want to please me. It makes you want to try to figure out how you can get me to be more in a submissive mindset. That's why. That's why. That's why I treat you bad, because you treat me so good when I treat you bad. Because every man that treated you good, you said, he's a nice guy, but he's just not for you. But I'm a bad guy. I'm considered bad. I'm considered bad. Because I don't call you, text you. I ignore you. I keep you off balance. I say stuff that'll make your self-esteem low. Nothing I do seem genuine. I don't have much words for you. I don't ask you a lot of questions. I don't seem to have you in my best interest. I seem selfish. I have a selfish vibe. But for some reason, all this, all these things turn you on. You actually like me. It's harder now. It's hard. So now you treat me, you treat me so good because I don't give you what you think you want. My bad behavior, my neglect towards you keeps you coming at me. Why are you drawn to me? Why are you so attracted to me? The other guy that treats you better, looks better than me, is a better person than me. He have you in his better interest than me. But you still like me? Why you like me when I treat you so bad? Why you like me so much? I thought you liked men with good personalities. 
my, is my personality that good when I'm not doing nothing? I am not ask you no questions. I'm giving you nothing. You like my personality? Am I the one for you? Am I your soulmate by giving you nothing? Am I your soulmate by not calling you? Is that why you like me so much? Because I give you so least? I give you so little? And you give, when I give you so little, you give me so much. You give me so much affection. That other guy that did everything you claim, he looked better than me. He's actually cooler than me, but you don't know it because you're turned off by his niceness. He's cooler than me, he's more athletic than me, he's taller than me, and everything. The difference between me and him is he care and I don't care. And by me not caring, I get the best from you. You do everything sexually towards me. Anytime I want, I don't even have to ask. But that guy over there, he's godly. He's a godly man. He's a godly man. He looks better than me, he's stronger than me, he got better personality than me. But you still running after me because you desire to conquer me. I'm not easily to be conquered. Even though I have no, I don't have no, nothing, no good intentions for you. You still come around and you're wasting your precious life running after me. How do you like that? How do you like wasting the best years of your life, the best beauty years of your life, running after me? How do you like that? How you like that? You're wasting your life dealing with me. You're wasting your body dealing with me. I'm not bringing you closer to God. I'm not bringing you closer to anything. The same thing I'm giving you is nothing. And you keep wasting your years dealing with me. And you're going to end up with nothing but kids by me when I'm not going to be around. I'm, not, I'm going to disown you because I never owned you and never wanted you. But you seek, you seem to be so drawn to me because I'm so not drawn to you. <laughs> better find Jesus quick because uh, you fell in love with the devil and you put Jesus in the friend zone. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Much love to you. Stay prayed up. Everything you need is in the description box. All the songs, the albums. One -on -one -on -one con if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, message me on Instagram and let me know how much time you want. Must have Cash App or PayPal. I don't do Zelly. If you want me to interview you for free, Except for a few minutes, um, let me know on Instagram you want me to interview you. You can be a male or a female. Um, what else?